career-oriented female lead plus romantic male lead plus entertainment industry plus variety show plus Su Xuantian, newcomer Mao Yuning in the entertainment industry learned about her predetermined fate as a cannon fodder supporting actress in a dream. She is the king in the cannon fodder, the little Chong in the cannon fodder, burning with fighting spirit, illuminating numerous female stars. Mao Yuning said, dot. Get off his damn cannon fodder. Whoever dares to use me as a stepping board, I'll let anyone fall to death. Zhao Wenmin, a newcomer in the entertainment industry, wants to use her as a control group. Mao Yuning. Okay half a month later, Zhao Wenmin, who was supposed to become popular in the control group, was called out of the circle by netizens. Mao Yuning, who was supposed to be knocked out of the circle by the internet, became a top performer overnight. The first sister of the rival company is backed by a big shot in the entertainment industry, grabbing the female lead script, leaving only the third female character in her hands. Mao Yuning Okay four months later, the TV series became very popular, an all-supporting role became popular, and the role of the third girl became a classic role. Is the biggest male and female lead in the coffee industry devoid of popularity? Later, with her acting skills, Mao Yuning finally won the Best Actress Award and realized her dream. On the day of the award, she announced her love story. She was in love. He is just an ordinary amateur. One day, Mao Mao Yu, who was scattered throughout the country, saw a familiar figure on the news and went online to spread the message. This is not a naive boyfriend after all. Keywords of the Novel the control group female lead became popular on military variety shows without pop-ups, while the control group female lead became popular on military variety shows. Download the complete text, and the control group female lead became popular on military variety shows. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Destined to be Canon Fodder. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. Destined to be cannon fodder the highway is unobstructed, with Mao Yuning nestled in the back seat. The sun hat covers most of his delicate and small face, holding a pillow in his hand, and shallow breathing can be heard. Mao Yuning had a dream, which was like a fleeting view of a flower, depicting her life in a simple way. This is an era of many nebulae gathering together. Female celebrity Mao Yuning is the stepping stone for all the stars, commonly known as cannon fodder. The top female stars in the circle have all stepped on Mao Yuning, and of course, with just one step, they will stand out. For example, in a national defense military training variety show, Mao Yuning, an actress who should not have behaved in a delicate way, did not appear in the assembly hall due to skin allergy on the first day of recording. She was absent for three days and appeared on the fourth day after five days of shooting. She was careful to please her team members, but because she was behind the training of the previous three days, she finally had to stand aside. The latter half of her did so. What's the use? Netizens, as well as the people of the whole country in front of the TV, will only feel that you, as an actor, are delicate and artificial, referring to the legendary line, Miss Digital. Without comparison, there is no harm. Zhao Wenmin, who is both an actress and a transparent actress in the 18th tier, has become a top-tier actress thanks to her success in the variety show industry. In this variety show, she is not afraid of hardship or fatigue. Although she is a female celebrity, she has the most tenacious spirit and can complete every military training perfectly. However, she humbly shed tears and said that the best are the heroes who guard their country. This is not the reason for her fire, what really made her fire was the last episode, which was the one where Mao Yuning appeared. The last episode is about setting up two ropes on a lake surface. They need to use the ropes to reach the opposite side of the lake, and the task is considered completed. This variety show has eight members, unfortunately, Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin, the two control groups, were assigned to a combination. Mao Yuning walked ahead, while Zhao Wenmin walked behind. The two of them tied ropes back and forth and stepped on the ropes. At first, Mao Yuning walked well, but because Zhao Wenmin shook her hand hard, she fell off. 
Mao Yuning knows how to water, but she doesn't know what's going on. Every time she wants to get up and grab the rope, Zhao Wenmin looks like she's about to fall, which scared Mao Yuning out of fear. Unfortunately, Zhao Wenmin, who had almost fallen into the water several times due to her harm, still thought of her teammate and steadied herself. She extended her wrist towards her, exerted all her strength, and pulled her up. The instructors in the team all blushed and praised Zhao Wenmin, saying that what the team needed the most was this spirit of unity, abbreviated as Tuan Soul. Zhao Wenmin was the bravest, kind-hearted, and most friendly girl he had ever seen. When the old instructor praised her, tears welled up in their eyes. It wasn't Zhao Wenmin who cried, but the teammates who had once walked hand in hand. Zhao Wenmin, a young star from the 18th tier, became extremely popular overnight, falling to the top and holding first dot line resources. And his acting skills are good, with several dramas being aired. Mao Yuning, who seemed to have a promising future, became Zhao Wenmin's control group, but was knocked out of the entertainment industry by the internet and became a peripheral figure in the entertainment industry. Mao Yuning is an indestructible Xiaoqiang. A few years later, she returned to the screen and starred in a low-dot-cost movie that became popular on the internet and was nominated for numerous film awards. Mao Yuning has also received numerous invitation letters for movies, among which is the Golden Flower Award, one of the three major films. This award has a high value and being nominated is already proof of her strength. If she can win the award, she will definitely fall into the forefront. Mao Yuning was greatly flattered and went to the award ceremony with an extremely honored attitude. However, she was informed of film plagiarism and had been removed from the film nomination award. A truly original film temporarily replaced the nomination award. Original films are famous directors, big productions, and even regulars of film festivals, and everyone has to give them three points of face. Originally her best female lead, she was immediately awarded to the original film lead Guan Jiji. The guest of the award ceremony was a highly popular actress who angrily accused Mao Yuning's team of plagiarism. Their film organization was fair, so they decided to give this award to the original female lead Guan Jiji. Thunderous applause resounded from below. Mao Yuning walked out of the award ceremony in a daze and received a call from her agent. The movie was taken down and the whole internet was shouting for her to get out of the entertainment industry. A few years later, Mao Yuning had reached middle age and once again made it to the international nomination for Best Actress in a film with her work. When she had a chance to win the Best Actress award, she once again fell from grace such things have been happening all along. She is the king in the cannon fodder, Xiao Chang in the cannon fodder, burning with fighting spirit, illuminating many female stars. In her old age, she smokes on the street, and compared to the female stars on the same street, she is already full of glory. She talks about their past through the screen, expressing sympathy for Mao Yuning, but also stepping into the mud. Hu hu hu. Mao Yuning woke up from the nightmare and told herself that it was just a dream and could never come true. She kicked off the blanket on her body, revealing her creamy legs, straight and slender. She took out a small mirror from her bag and looked inside at the beautiful and beautiful features, which were pure and lustful. She took out her phone again and opened various professional stage stills inside. She is so beautiful, with a stunning figure and excellent acting skills. How could she be just cannon fodder, or a struggling cannon fodder? Mao Yuning comforted herself for a moment, panting and calming down, but her eyebrows gradually furrowed. What if this is really her fate? There are too many tragedies in the world, and being cannon fodder is just a speck of dust in the long river of history. No one remembers it, and no one studies why cannon fodder is cannon fodder. They seem to be born to embellish those who shine with stars. She is just one of them. Just like a play she saw yesterday, it was clearly the twins of Sister Hua. The sister was born to be loved by her parents and loved by her brother. Life was more like blooming flowers. She had excellent performance, excellent work, married a good man, gave birth to a filial son, and was respected in old age. 
My younger sister, on the other hand, has a solitary personality, disliked by her parents and disliked by her older brother. Life is just like her personality, filled with depression, darkness, poor grades, inability to find a job, marrying a thug, and giving birth to a child who is a genius. When I thought she was going to make a comeback, this genius died in a car accident at the age of 12. She went crazy all night, and could only spend her old age in a nursing home. In the end, I only remember the female lead, who used her great insight to highlight the greatness of her sister. Dot. Mao Yuning's breathing was a bit suffocating. When the agent called, she finally breathed a sigh of relief. Mao Mao, where are you? Have you come back? I have some good news for you. In addition to several dramas that have been filmed and are waiting to be aired, the company has also signed a variety show for you, which is a national defense military training program. When the show airs, you can use the variety show to attract a wave of popularity, and you can also be considered somewhat famous. Wang Jie's crisp voice came with a crackling sound, containing an indescribable joy. I have opened a new book, and I hope everyone can take good care of me. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 School Flower You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 School Flower Mao Yuning sat up holding his phone and said, What national defense and military training program? What a man! We've been running for two seasons now, and we've been hiring very popular first-tier actors and celebrities, but they've been lukewarm. The director wants to use ordinary people and unknown 18th-tier celebrities this time thinking about whether they can become hot topics. I'll send you your profile. That resume is really beautiful, and the director immediately confirmed you. I said Mao Mao, but my sister is very optimistic about you. Although all the previous dramas were supporting role, you are beautiful and your acting skills are good. I don't believe that you will not be popular. Wang almost patted her thigh to ensure that Mao Yuning was the next rising red star. However, Mao Yuning, who already knew he was a cannon fodder, had no joy on his face, a pale complexion, and a sweaty head. Mao Mao, Mao Mao. Sister Wang was not sure if she had listened. Well, I know now, sister. Mao Yuning struggled to hold back his collapsed mind and chatted with her for a few words before hanging up the call. Mao Yuning's whole soul was restless, but she couldn't cry. This feeling is very painful, just like a cancer patient who knows it's a terminal illness but still insists on chemotherapy, only dying of cowardice. The dying struggle of walking on the flesh of a feasible corpse will eventually lead to death, with no pain at all. After arriving at the apartment, Mao Yuning had not had time to rest when she received a call from Sister Wang, informing her that the variety show, I Am a Man, would start shooting in three days and that she would personally come and pick her up tomorrow. Wang explained on the other end of the phone, you should have been put back to rest for two days, but the filming location for this variety show is in the military district, where outsiders are not allowed in. All members need to gather at the designated hotel, and then the director's car will take you inside. Mao Yuning needs to go to the hotel and meet with other members first. The director team may start recording at this time because there is an additional segment in between, so he must go ahead. The variety show will start shooting in three days, and he will have to leave early tomorrow. Mao Yuning said that she is in good condition and doesn't need to worry about Wang Jia. She will arrive at the hotel designated by the director's team on time tomorrow. Wang Jia insists on coming to pick her up tomorrow, and there are some things she needs to be reminded in person to feel more at ease. Mao Yuning didn't refuse anymore. After hanging up the phone, she collapsed in bed and closed her eyes. After taking a deep breath for a while, he took a deep breath and exhaled, Get the hell out of here. Whoever dares to use me as a stepping board, I'll let anyone fall to death. She smashed the pillow in her hand and got up to walk to the bathroom. Tomorrow she is going to the hotel and the production team for a meeting, and today she needs to take good care of her skin. Let's talk about how beautiful she is. The next day, after breakfast, Sister Wang drove Mao Yuning to the hotel to gather. 
In the car, Sister Wang reminded her of the essence of the variety show. Mao Yuning is an actor who mainly plays well. There is no need to establish any character in the show, and she should not casually accept the script given by the director's team. She should not give the director's team any tricks and become the scapegoat of the control group. Although black and red are also red, this type of red is very dangerous and may ruin an artist's career in the entertainment industry. The company invited Mao Yuning for this variety show mainly to increase her popularity, and in the future, she will be promoted to the big screen. Sister Wang and the entire senior management of the company are very optimistic about Mao Yuning's face. Of course, her overall condition is also very outstanding, with a top-notch figure, a professional background, and a lively acting skills. All of these are combined, and she is worried about not being able to create a first-line actress. Mao Yuning listened very attentively, but his consciousness was somewhat confused. She knew how much the company and Miss Wong valued her, and in fact, in her dreams, even if they fell into a low point time and time again, the company and Miss Wong never gave up on her. Even though the sunk cost of investment was too high, the reason why it was difficult to escape was mainly because they saw the starlight on Mao Yuning's body. They have always believed that Mao Yuning's excellent qualifications will definitely make him famous and lead the company to take off. As she arrived at the hotel entrance, Mao Yuning bid farewell to Wang with a relaxed expression and said, Sister, please go back. It's troublesome to park here, I'm fine alone. Okay, did you hear what I said? Shout, Mao Mao baby. Wang confirmed repeatedly and only agreed to let go when Mao Yuning nodded. After waving goodbye, Mao Yuning and Wang Jie pulled their luggage into the hotel lobby. As expected by Sister Wang, the director team recorded it at the hotel first. Mao Yuning had no accidents and only entered the inner hall after greeting the on-dot site staff. Sister Wang rushed to see her over, and by the time Mao Yuning entered, three guests had already arrived first. The three guests are two male guests, both of whom have played small roles in some well-known works but are not well-known male actors. One of the female guests is a amateur who participated in variety shows. She signed up for the program and was selected to participate in military training with these lesser-known artists, experiencing life in the frontline military. Mao Yuning's appearance made all three guests show exaggerated expressions. I want the camera to be real. It's true that Mao Yuning is even more punctual than a big star. Mao Yuning, who arrived a few minutes later than the three of them, was unaware that a few minutes ago, the director's team had just announced that this variety show shooting had adopted the voting opinion of netizens and was broadcast live throughout the entire process. Netizens have expressed. Who is interested in a few unknown artists and amateurs? What they are interested in is the life of the frontline troops, and secondly, the muscles of the soldier brother compared to edited recordings, live broadcasts are easier to uncover surprises and reveal the real life of frontline troops. Mao Yuning is still unaware of the incident that has occurred. I don't know if it was a live broadcast camera aimed at her. Due to the strong promotion efforts of the program team, a lot of promotion fees were spent, and at this time, thousands of fans flooded into and out of the live broadcast room. At this moment, the entire screen was filled with question marks, sigh, it's really not as good as each season. The guests invited in the first two seasons were at least top male stars and top tier girls. What's the highlight of this season? Yeah, I heard that the guests for this season are not only ordinary people, but also unknown newcomers in the entertainment industry. The only ones supporting the show are an outdated actor and actress. This is a national defense variety show, not a runway show. What kind of talent do you want? The guests we invited in the first two seasons were quite famous, but which one of them passed military training on the show? It was only by releasing all the water that we forced a successful conclusion on the bustling pop.up screen, a barrage successfully caught the attention of netizens. Netizen Shuei Gu is my god. Mao Yuning. Is it the Mao Yuning I know? Everyone cheered and asked, brother seems to be a top student at school B, 
is there any melon to explode? Shuij, my god drops. She is the flower of our neighboring school's B film school. I heard she was also admitted as a martial arts specialty student. Don't ask me how I found out. When I was in school, it wasn't just B film, but our large B school was all her fans. The netizen instantly exploded the pot. Dot. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Clash. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Clash The netizen instantly exploded the pot. Dot. Ah, I turned out to be a martial arts expert. No wonder I walk with a cool demeanor. Just now, the little sister shook her hair and her gaze caught me with a shark. The starting point is quite high, but often it's like this, we can't escape the fate of opening high and leaving low. Mao Yuning walked up to the three guests and prepared to greet the female guests first. Oh my goodness, how could there be such a beautiful person in this world? The ordinary person Zhang Lin opened her mouth without any image and covered it again. Mao Yuning. Dot. Zhang Lin seemed ready to overcome her addiction to acting and ran to Mao Yuning with her mouth covered. Both of them were wearing flat shoes. Zhang Lin, a woman who has always been considered a top-tier woman, is actually shorter than Mao Yuning. Zhang Lin's eyes instantly straightened as they landed on her long legs, feeling somewhat injured. She said, I'm good, we're about tall, your legs are on my waist. The director's team took another big shot, allowing the netizens in front of the camera to clearly see Mao Yuning's long legs, which happened to reach Zhang Lin's waist, indicating a superior proportion. The screen exploded again. Damn it, Slaughter, is this the legendary golden ratio figure? With this figure, you can easily enter the top three in beauty pageants, the little sister perfectly portrayed the legs below the neck. Mao Yuning looked at Zhang Lin with a hint of sweat on her face and smiled, my legs are useless, it's Coach Zhang's legs that have more strength. Zhang Lin, who was instantly cured, said, dot. Netizens with high emotional intelligence are kneeling down, and the entire screen is filled with. Ah ah, I want your useless legs. Little sister, Shen Yen, her mouth is still so sweet. I love you. Each of the guests participating in the variety show has a copy of their profile. Zhang Lin is a taekwondo coach. Zhang Lin naturally knew who Mao Yuning was, a newcomer who had just entered the entertainment industry. Not a big celebrity, no different from them ordinary people. The photo is quite average, but this person is a stunning pose that cannot be captured by a photo. Zhang Lin is not Yen Go, but now she only wants to be Mao Yuning's Yen Go. After sitting down, the two girls quickly chatted together. Two male guests awkwardly wanted to buckle their feet. However, soon another guest arrived at the scene. The fifth one to arrive is Zhao Wenmin. That's right, it's Xiao Wenmin who used her as a stepping stone in her dreams and would become famous on this program. Xiao Wenmin is the same age as Mao Yuning, a newcomer in the entertainment industry, with decent physique and appearance. She even comes from a prestigious actor class, but her school is different. After the director team read out her information, netizens instantly exploded and compared Mao Yuning to Zhao Wenmin. These two people are destined to be the control group. Where there is comparison, there is harm. Zhang Lin secretly watched the live broadcast on her phone and leaned in Mao Yuning's ear, saying, Mao, the live broadcast room has opened a voting PK, choose who looks better between you and Zhao Wenmin. Mao Yuning only realized that these cameras were live broadcasts rather than recorded broadcasts. It seems that what is happening now is somewhat different from the dream. Is it a good thing? Mao Yuning curiously said, show me. Zhang Lin clicked on the floating PK entry and noticed two prominent names. Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin. Title. Who would be the most beautiful green flower in the military? Here are the votes. Mao Yuning 2899, Zhao Wenmin 201. Mao Yuning. Dot. However, their votes are still rising. 
netizens who don't mind the hustle and bustle are all scrolling through the screen, urging everyone to vote for Zhao Wenmin and get her to 250. Mao Yuning. Dot. After greeting everyone, Zhao Wenmin picked the sofa in seat C and sat down. Knowing that the live broadcast was going on, she didn't dare to take out her phone and had a confident smile on her face from beginning to end. After the guests all arrived, there were a total of eight guests, four male guests and four female guests. The male and female groups each had a layman, who was either a taekwondo female coach or an international second-level athlete. On both sides, there were two 18th-tier artists. Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin were the 18th-tier artists on the female guest side, and on both sides, there were once popular but now outdated little actor and little actress. Eight guests, divided into two groups of men and women, will temporarily stay in the hotel and depart tomorrow morning. Mao Yuning, Zhao Wenmin, Zhang Lin, and actress Zhang Zi, led by the director's team, arrived at the grand suite on the 18th floor. The large suite features a two-bedroom, one-living-room layout. After listening to the director's arrangement, Zhang Zi pressed her manicure against the tip of her nose and said, I'm really sorry. I have some old health problems, and my sleep is not very good. I'm not used to sharing a room with others. Why don't you three squeeze together? She's a queen, how could she possibly have a room with these little transparent ones? If she really moved in, it would be a blatant slap on her face. The director explained on the side, Sister Zhang, each room has two single beds, so it won't disturb your rest. Zhang Zi interrupted, I know, but the same room can also disturb my rest. The director's team thought for a moment, but the other room only has two single beds. Would it be too crowded for three people? The director's team came out to communicate with a small assistant who spoke politely and cautiously. Zhang Zi was even more straightforward, pointing to the living room and saying, can't we just move out the bed in my room and put it in the living room? If it's just a man, but who would be willing to let a girl sleep in a living room without any privacy? Everyone looked at each other for a moment. The live broadcast camera focused on the faces of the four members, capturing the subtle changes in their expressions. Especially for newcomers in the entertainment industry, Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin. Zhang Zi is a movie queen. Although she has passed away, she has works to show her side. They cannot easily offend her, otherwise they will fall under the charge of disrespecting their seniors. Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin naturally understand the truth behind it. If a newcomer in the entertainment industry doesn't even understand some potential rules, not to mention being extremely popular, there is a possibility that they won't find this person overnight. Among the three people, only Zhang Lin is a layman. When Zhang Zi heard that she wanted to occupy a room alone, she was already angry and couldn't come out to shoot a variety show even if she was seriously ill. If it was a minor illness, everyone could understand each other and take care of her more. The director's team all said that there were two single beds in the room. Isn't this behavior of her annoying? Zhang Lin immediately said, Sister Zhang, let me share a room with you. You're not feeling well, and I have experience taking care of patients. Sister Zhang frowned and said, I'm not familiar with you, how could you take care of me? Zhang Lin sneered from the bottom of her heart, but her face smiled and said, Who made you sick? I should take care of you. Her tone was like cursing her for being sick. You. Zhang Zi's face changed with anger. If it weren't for the nearby photography frame, she would have wanted to take action. Zhang Lin slapped her raised hand, rubbed her fist, and smiled brightly, Does Sister Zhang still want to spar with me? It's okay, sports are beneficial for physical and mental health. End of this chapter. Chapter 4, I Don't Think This Is Good You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4, I Don't Think This Is Good Zhang Zi remembered that Zhang Lin's major was Taekwondo, and she was so scared that she took a step back. If it weren't for losing face, she would have run away long ago. Zhao Wenmin saw that the timing was ripe and walked up to Zhang Lin. She spoke passionately, Coach Zhang, 
how could you scare teacher Zhang so much? She has been acting for many years and suffers countless illnesses, including a broken rib. These old illnesses are already unbearable enough. How could you still bear to say such unpleasant things? Behind the screen, fans of Zhang Zi were extremely angry when they saw their own artist being bullied. They were instantly moved when they heard someone come out to protect their own artist. ID International Chapter Wu Wu, our chapter has not been easy these years, and eventually some people remember it. Those years were bloody and sweaty, and I thought no one remembered it long ago. Passerby netizen A. Zhang Zi has poor sleep, and it's not wrong to want a room alone. Speaking of this ordinary person, Zhang Lin's words are too extreme. It has to be said that compared to small transparent figures like Mao Yuning and amateur figures like Zhang Lin, Zhang Zi, who has works, has higher national popularity and more fans. In just one minute, the output is already full screen. The four women on site naturally do not know. At this moment, Zhang Zi's face also regained some blood color due to Zhao Wenming's words, but her eyes instantly turned red and tears streamed down her face. Not bad for being a movie queen, you can cry whenever you say you cry. Zhao Wenmin quickly stepped forward to comfort her and wipe her tears. Zhang Lin had a bad temper and couldn't bear Zhao Wenmin's tea talk. She immediately wanted to fight back, but was stopped by Mao Yuning. Mao Yuning remembers that there was also this scene in Dreamland, but it was recorded rather than live broadcast. After a post-production cut, the effect presented was that Zhang Zi had poor sleep and had no choice but to ask the director team to have a room alone. However, Zhang Lin scolded her and made her cry, implying that she was sick and even threatened Zhang Zi with violence. If it weren't for the show team, Zhang Lin would have probably started hitting someone. After the program aired, Zhang Lin was searched by human flesh and despised by thousands of people. She even resigned from her job as a taekwondo coach and was forced to leave her hometown, eventually disappearing without a trace. At this moment, Mao Yuning realized that it was Zhang Zi who was going too far, and it was also Zhang Zi who wanted to take action. Zhang Lin was just an ordinary person, and when things were unfair, she just retaliated. Mao Yuning looked at Zhao Wenmin, who stood at the moral high ground and accused Zhang Lin. Although the whole incident seemed to have nothing to do with her, she was actually the only one who profited. After the program aired, Zhao Wenmin became the goddess of the nation, sunny and heartwarming. Mao Yuning grabbed Zhang Lin before speaking up, now we only have two rooms for the four of us. If teacher Zhang wants to live in one room alone, there must be one person sleeping in the living room. Coach Zhang is also considering everyone's needs. Zhao Wenmin patted Zhang Zi, who was crying sadly, without saying a word. Mao Yuning looked at Zhang Zi, who was crying and sucking on tissues, and continued, Before teacher Zhang came, he should have known that you were going to participate in a military training program. Although it was a variety show, when we went to the military to shoot, it wouldn't be two people sharing a room, but the four of us, and maybe even some other female soldiers. No one in the army has any privileges, the last sentence resounded loudly. Gone. Zhang Zi didn't cry anymore. It seemed that she didn't expect the situation to be so serious. Why did she mention privilege? If this comes true, I won't be scolded to death by netizens. Zhang Zi has a big temper, but she is not brainless. No matter how much she dares to have opinions. Just weakly saying, I just got off the plane today and I want to rest well. I definitely don't mean that. Net friend emotions make it difficult for them to use their brains. After a brief pause, a surging pop dot up screen suddenly erupted. Yeah, Zhang Zi is not here for vacation. She's here to participate in a military program. After entering the army, did she even tell the instructor that I want to have a room alone, and you want other female soldiers to sleep in the hallway. Upstairs, I can't imagine that scene. If Zhang Zi had said such a brainless thing, she probably wouldn't have been able to escape the 800-meter long run overnight. 
Mao Xiaohua is truly sober in the world such a controversial conflict made the director's team ecstatic, and immediately had the backstage staff cut the video and spend money to buy a hot search. The hot search entry hashtag hashtag Zhang Zi, the movie queen, was criticized and cried by a newcomer hashtag hashtag the hot search quickly broke through millions of clicks. Everyone followed the official account into the live broadcast room. Seeing all the discussion on the screen about whether Zhang Zi was intentionally playing big, or really not considering so much, just wanting to rest due to physical reasons. Onlooker did the movie Queen cry. Why don't we believe it, unless she cries again, dot. After the director's team finished their work, they asked the assistants to come out and solve the problem, and the four of them drew lots to divide the rooms. Zhang Zi also temporarily paused and drew the first note. The room number she drew was A1. Then came Zhang Lin, who drew B2. Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin picked up the last two notes at the same time. Mao Yuning B2, Zhao Wenmin A1. Mao Yuning and Zhang Lin share the same room, while Zhao Wenmin and Zhang Zi share the same room. Zhao Wenmin looked at Zhang Zi with a note in her hand, her face full of joy, indicating that Zhang Zi had always been her admired goddess senior, and she was probably the most successful fan of star chasing. Surprisingly, being able to share a room with the goddess made her happy even when she lay on the floor. Zhao Wenmin is very good at riding the heat. Nowadays, among the four of them, only Zhang Zi has a fan base. Her words not only resonate with some netizens, but even if she is not a fan of Zhang Zi, she will be influenced by her cheerful sunshine, dispelling the gloom in her heart and falling in love with her shining light. Sure enough, the live broadcast room is all. Ah, I envy Zhao Wenmin so much that she can share the same room as the goddess. Zhao Wenmin is definitely trying to provoke hatred. Whose dream is not to share the same room as the actress? However, Zhao Wenmin is so cute, woo-woo, I really want to pinch my face. Dot. Mao Yuning had seen this scene in her dream, and she even leaned in and said that Zhang Zi was also her idol. However, she fell into Zhao Wenmin's trap and said she was willing to give her the opportunity to spend time with Zhang Zi. Mao Yuning was quite happy at first. After exchanging notes, Zhao Wenmin pretended to suggest that Zhang Zi sleep poorly and asked her to sleep on the sofa in the living room. Shouldn't she refuse? At that time, Zhang Zi was staring straight at her, how could she dare to say no? This time, Mao Yuning also leaned in and spoke with envy, saying, congratulations to Wen Min on her successful star chasing. Teacher Zhang is a goddess of virtue and art in the industry. If Wen Min can receive Zhang's guidance, she will definitely benefit for a lifetime. Listening to the envious tone, Zhao Wenmin thought to herself and said with a gentle smile, Do you also want to share a room with Sister Zhang? I can give you this opportunity. Mao Yuning looked at the note she handed over, blinked, and shook her head motionless, saying, That's not possible. A gentleman doesn't take advantage of others. She seemed hesitant, but in the end, she earnestly suggested, You just said you wanted to lay a floor, and I don't think it's good. End of this chapter Chapter 5. Inviting and Dismantling Invitations. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5. Inviting and Dismantling Invitations She seemed hesitant, but in the end, she gave a serious suggestion. You just said you wanted to make a floor, but I don't think it's good. Teacher Zhang has poor sleep, so he doesn't want you to make a floor. By the way, you can sleep on the sofa in the living room, which is better than making a floor. Zhang Zi stared straight at Zhao Wenmin without saying a word, but the hint in her eyes was too obvious. Zhao Wenmin wanted to refuse, but she said she was willing to lay a bed on the floor, but now she says she doesn't want to sleep on the sofa. Isn't this inconsistent on the outside? Zhao Wenmin was so frustrated that she gritted her teeth, but dared not delay, saying, I know Sister Zhang doesn't sleep well. I wanted to sleep on the sofa and let her have a good night's sleep. She smiled brightly and helped Zhang Zi carry her luggage into the room. Zhang Zi has a lot of luggage, 
big and small, and her hands are full. Her movements are very difficult, but there is also a carefree and unrestrained attitude, as if knowing that the production team will definitely give her a close dot up. After all, when she joined the group, the company had already reached a consensus with the program team to help her set up the setup. Her persona is a small sun of truth, goodness, and beauty, illuminating and warming everyone. The company said that this character is not easy to establish, but once it is established, it will become popular. To establish this persona well, besides having a script performance, it is not enough. She also needs to find a newcomer in the entertainment industry who has similar qualifications as her as a control group and act as a seesaw. Mao Yuning is the most suitable candidate. Zhao Wenmin came prepared without any panic. After putting away her luggage, she went out to the tea room in the living room to make coffee. A pot of coffee can pour four small cups, exactly one cup per person. Zhao Wenmin first brought Zhang Zi's cup into the room, and after confirming that the camera had captured it, she knocked on Mao Yuning and Zhang Lin's door with the other two cups. Zhang Lin opened the door and said with a puzzled expression, What's up? Zhao Wenmin smiled slightly while holding her coffee and said, Do you mind if I go in and sit down? Zhang Lin looked at the coffee in her hand, then at the camera behind her, nodded, and leaned over to invite her in. Zhao Wenmin brought coffee in. After organizing her luggage, Mao Yuning went to take a shower. At this moment, she changed into home clothes, had long hair draped over her shoulders, and sat in a charming rocking chair in the room. Zhao Wenmin's mind twisted instantly when she saw Mao Yuning's face, and her smile almost couldn't be lifted. She placed two cups of coffee on the table, one for each person. Zhao Wenmin smiled warmly and said, Zhang Jia, Rain Ning, you guys try it. This is the coffee I brewed, and the coffee beans are top dot notch cat poop coffee. I wonder if you like this taste. Zhang Lin has a carefree personality. Seeing Zhao Wenmin so thoughtful, she immediately picked up the coffee in front of her and gulped it down. Her eyes lit up instantly and she looked at Mao Yuning, saying, Ah, this coffee is really good. Mao, give it a try, it smells so good. Mao Yuning was wary of Zhao Wenmin, but she didn't drink it and it was not good. She could only pick up her coffee cup, hold her breath, smell the aroma of the coffee, and smile, it's really fragrant. My gaze was secretly observing the change in expression on Zhao Wenmin's face. In her dream, she suddenly became allergic, with redness and swelling all over her body, accompanied by mild asthma, which forced her to rest and stop filming for treatment. Zhao Wenmin has a bright and cheerful smile. Mao Yuning couldn't distinguish whether there was a problem with this cup of coffee for the time being, but it didn't prevent her from digging a pit for Zhao Wenmin. She quickly found out if there was a problem with the coffee. After Mao Yuning finished praising that it was indeed very fragrant, his face showed bitterness and self-blame before saying, Unfortunately, I can't drink such fragrant coffee. She said she wanted to put down her coffee. Zhao Wenmin couldn't help but raise her voice and said, Why can't you drink it? Do you, Yuning, don't you want to drink the coffee I made, or did I just speak for Sister Zhang? Do you have any objections to me? Mao Yuning looked at her in surprise and said, How could you think that? I just can't really drink it, otherwise I'm worried about insomnia tonight and having to record a program tomorrow. What are you worried about? My coffee is different from the one outside. It's not that low dot quality coffee, it's top dot quality cat poop coffee, Zhao Wenmin said displeased. She is also in a hurry. She has always been a cautious person, and at this moment, she only wants Mao Yuning to drink coffee. Only by making Mao Yuning unable to record the program, can she have a chance to become popular. Otherwise, it would be difficult for her to stand out just by putting her face there. At this point, the screen was already flashing, and the barrage appeared polarized. A netizen who thinks Zhao Wenmin is domineering. What kind of cat poop coffee does Miss Zhao make? She should make green tea. The whole tea has a strong tea flavor and even forces us, Mao Mao, to drink coffee. 
Mao Mao will lose sleep after drinking coffee. Didn't you hear that? A netizen who thinks Mao Yuning is delicate and artificial. Coffee has a refreshing effect, but it's okay to take a few sips. I think she just doesn't want to drink Xiao Wenmin's coffee. If you want me to say that Zhao Wenmin is too kind, she would be so kind when she brews coffee that she gets dumped. If I have a bad temper and like to drink it or not, I would pour it directly on her face, making her wake up on the spot. Some passers-by also spoke up, saying, it's too much upstairs. Some people just can't drink something to refresh themselves at night, otherwise it's difficult to fall asleep. Our whole family likes Kung Fu tea, but my grandmother never touches it. She said she doesn't need to sleep after drinking a cup, so she dares not drink it. Many people followed suit. Dot. Mao Yuning can basically conclude that there is something wrong with this cup of coffee. When she thought of things in her dream, it seemed that there was no such thing as Zhao Wenmin making coffee, but she was still allergic. Perhaps Zhao Wenmin had used other methods to prescribe medicine. In short, if she didn't drink this cup of coffee, Zhao Wenmin would never give up. It would be better to drink this cup of coffee in front of her to make her feel at ease. Mao Yuning wore a polite smile on her face and said, Top grade cat poop coffee, cooked by Sister Wenmin. Even if I take the risk of insomnia, I want to try it. Zhao Wenmin breathed a sigh of relief. In the eyes of others, it was more like hard brewed coffee, and other guests were happy to drink it. Mao Yuning quickly drank the coffee in his hand and smiled, the coffee is very fragrant. Sister Wenmin's craftsmanship is amazing. Zhao Wenmin is very good at superficial skills. When she saw her drinking the coffee in her hand, she reached out to take the cup and said, Coach Zhang and Yuning have a good rest. We still need to enter the army tomorrow. Give me the cup. After saying good night to each other, Zhao Wenmin went out with two empty cups and washed them clean under the live broadcast camera. Her face was always filled with a slight sweet smile and a sunny image. Many people in the live broadcast room have been touched. Who doesn't like a girl who silently gives and the sunshine warms her heart? After only half a day of live streaming, Zhao Wenmin gained a group of fans and became known as Sweet Girl. Mao Yuning returned to the apartment yesterday and went to the hospital again. She had prepared medication to treat allergies in advance, but she didn't know how effective the preventive measures were. After Zhao Wenmin left the room, she immediately went to the bathroom, turned on all the faucets, grabbed her throat, aimed it at the toilet, and vomited the coffee she drank clean. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Unwilling You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Unwilling After rinsing her mouth, she propped her hands on the sink and carefully recalled the details of her dream. Before entering the army, she felt some itching in her body. At that time, she thought it was because the hotel bedding was not clean, so she went to the pharmacy to buy a bottle of anti-itching ointment and entered the army. However, it became more and more serious. She went to the medical room in the army and only applied to leave the army and go to the hospital for intravenous infusion after getting the medicine ineffective. To be cautious, Mao Yuning took out the disinfectant he had prepared in advance, applied it all over his body, and took out desensitizing drugs to ensure that there would be no more severe allergies in his dream so far, before finally taking a deep breath of relief. Mao Mao, Mao Mao. Zhang Lin patted the glass door of the toilet and called out her name. After Mao Yuning packed up her things, she quickly opened them. Zhang Lin handed over her phone and said, it rang several times. I'm worried about something urgent. Can you call someone back? After thanking Mao Yuning, she took back her phone and saw that the five or six links on it missed a call, feeling a slight warmth in her heart. When going out, she is carefree and also helpless. Wang Jia is her work partner and also her most caring friend. Mao Yuning quickly called her back. Wang Jia entered the industry as a life assistant and gained experience. She was appreciated by the company CEO and was introduced as a broker. Mao Yuning was one of the newcomers she brought along, 
and she was also one of her most optimistic about newcomers. This is probably due to her previous work habits. She always takes care of artists in a nanny style, with every aspect of her life and career being meticulous. Knowing that the director's team had temporarily adopted a live broadcast format, she followed and observed many live shots. After analyzing the large shots that appeared, the two actresses and the actor were assigned the most, followed by Zhao Wenmin. Zhao Wenmin will come and knows how to ride the heat. Based on Wang Jie's experience, it is obvious that the other party is well prepared in advance, and someone has a script in the production team. Mao Yuning couldn't help but marvel at Wang's professionalism after listening to her analysis. Wang Jie. Mao Mao, once we join the army, we can't communicate at any time. There is no script or character design for us to participate in this variety show. You just need to be yourself. If you want to be the first, if you want popularity, you can do your best to fight for it. As long as it is something obtained through legitimate means, we can have it. We must not take shortcuts. Otherwise, even if there is a temporary popularity, the future cannot go far. Our goal is not to be the popularity of a variety show, but to be the champion of a first-line female artist and a queen. Never forget your original intention, only then can you always persevere. Sister Wang has always been sticking to the right path. Mao Yuning didn't know which step they took wrong in their dream, which would lead to a bad ending. Perhaps they were not wrong, but only unlucky. Mao Yuning and Wang Jie talked for a while, then said goodbye to each other and hung up the phone. She didn't tell Wang that she almost fell for Zhao Wenmin's way. If it were face dot to dot face, she would have no concern, but they will enter the army tomorrow and the official program will start shooting the day after tomorrow. She doesn't want Wang to worry about her at this critical moment. After hanging up the phone, Mao Yuning couldn't help but feel angry when she thought about Zhao Wenmin designing her allergy. She thought for a moment and soon had an idea. Mao Yuning opened the door and walked out. At this time, the staff in the hall had already left, and they were all staying in the hotel. They will only come tomorrow morning when the work starts. It was probably the hotel staff who cleaned the living room. The living room was clean and tidy. Zhao Wenmin lay on the sofa and applied the facial mask. Hearing the voice and looking up, he saw that it was Mao Yuling. It was not easy to move when applying the facial mask, but just looked up at her. Mao Yuning realized in her dream that she didn't make coffee. Zhao Wenmin must have used other methods to make her allergic. Besides food, it may just be personal items. Thinking of this, Mao Yuning's eyes flashed with a hint of darkness. She felt embarrassed and said, Wen Min, I'm really sorry. Maybe I'm not feeling well. I vomited up after drinking that cup of coffee, and the towel wasn't enough. I wonder if you have any extra, can you give me two? Hotels also have towels, but many people bring their own towels when going out and do not use the hotel's common towels. Zhao Wen Min's expression, which she didn't care about originally, immediately sat up from the sofa when she heard her spit out her coffee. In a half-tone, she hurriedly said, Yes, I have. I brought an extra towel, and I'll get you too. After Mao Yuning thanked her, she went to the restroom and came out. Zhao Wenmin happened to find two towels of the same color and color for her. The tag on the towel has not been removed yet. Mao Yuning will definitely rinse the towel after taking it, but some medicinal properties only have greater efficacy when exposed to water. Mao Yuning's eyes flashed with a gleam, took the towel, thanked her again, and then returned to the room. About ten minutes later, she opened the door with the appearance of having washed herself again, holding a wash basin in her hand. Inside were a few clean clothes. She greeted Zhao Wenmin and went to the window of the restroom to dry the clothes. Zhao Wenmin lay leisurely on the sofa, brushing her phone. Mao Yuning listened to the sound of a short video coming from the living room, took out the clothes from the basin, and took out the towel that had been removed from the hanging tag but had not been washed. 
She saw the clothes hanging on the window and could easily distinguish between the clothes Zhao Wen Min was wearing today and the underwear hanging against her clothes. Mao Yuning locked the door to the bathroom, took a basin and turned on the water. She vigorously rubbed two towels in the basin before wringing them dry and hanging them aside. She then took off Zhao Wenmin's clothes and underwear, soaked them in the basin, and waited for a few minutes before casually twisting them and hanging them back in the window. Zhao Wenmin slept on the sofa in the living room, and her toiletries were also in the public restroom. Mao Yuning's gaze fell on her towel, not even her heart softened. She quickly took off the towel, soaked it in water before lifting it up, wring it clean, and hanging it back. Because the delay inside was quite long, Mao Yuning quickly poured out the water, pressed the two towels under it and stopped drying the clothes. He came out holding the sink and pretended to sigh loudly, the window is too small, it has been hanging for half a day and I can't hang it. I'll hang it in the bathroom and bring it into the army tomorrow. After finishing speaking, Mao Yuning didn't go to see Zhao Wenmin and walked towards the room with a calm expression. Without much thought, Zhao Wenmin withdrew her fingertips while scrolling through the video and turned back to the live broadcast page of the program. The live broadcast of the program has been turned off, and it shows that it will be broadcasted at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now it is a black screen, and next to it are several videos with the highest views, three of which are her interactions with the actress Zhang Zi. The titles are all favorable to her. Well, Godfather is still amazing. Zhao Wenmin thought of the people in the program group who were Godfather, and she felt very happy. Zhao Wenmin browsed around, but there was no negative news about Mao Yuning. She was also unwilling, probably because Mao Yuning had not done anything too outrageous and could not be edited. Of course, it can't be dark either. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Secret Joy You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Secret Joy Zhao Wenmin felt a bit disappointed. If Mao Yuning could be used as a control group, the popularity would definitely be higher. Mao Yuning has a strong sense of camera and good self-management skills. Fortunately, she has foresight and prepared the big ingredients in advance. Even if she vomits coffee, the towel will always be hit, right? Zhao Wenmin thought that Mao Yuning would definitely not be able to record the program these days. She had to ask her godfather in the program team to prepare in advance, write the script, and buy the hot search. She has figured out all the hot search topics. Firstly, do not reveal that Mao Yuning did not come to record the program due to allergies, implying that she cannot bear the hardships of training, pretending to be sick and unwilling to participate in filming, and then compare with herself. While the audience scolds Mao Yuning, they will definitely fall in love with her. After communicating with the contact person, Zhao Wenmin's lips curved into a smile. She is simply a genius. Dot. After Mao Yuning returned to his room, he told Zhang Lin that the clothes outside couldn't be dried. She hung them in the toilet to air dry and brought them into the army tomorrow. Zhang Lin was just about to fall asleep, but she didn't have much to talk about. She hung up her clothes and went to bed early, then closed her eyes and went to bed. After hanging up her clothes and coming out, Mao Yuning lay in bed and didn't immediately fall asleep. All the things in that dream flashed through her mind. She had a good memory and it was difficult to forget anything after going through it. In her dream, she will have mild symptoms and allergies tomorrow. At first, she thought it was because the hotel bedding was not clean, so she hurriedly went to the pharmacy to buy an ointment and took a car to the army. Later, it became more and more serious until she went to the hospital to get water. After two or three days of fuss, she missed the previous shoot. At that time, she was too busy and didn't know to consult with the production team in advance to let them reveal her severe allergy and hospitalization during filming. Later, after the program aired, due to speculation from netizens, the popularity remained high. Wang Jia contacted the production team director and asked the official account here to explain that she had to do so because of her severe allergy. Ren has a preconceived notion, 
and netizens have already determined that she can't bear the hardships of training. She played big names and slacked off for several days, only to show off on the last day. The official account's explanation is more like trying to cover up, whitewashing peace, and making the program harmonious. In theory, even if Mao Yuning is a newcomer on the show and is absent for three days, no one will pay attention. The credit for all of this is attributed to someone behind Zhao Wenmin. Since the show was aired, the control group video composed of two people has been popular for three days and two ends. Originally only two points hot, it was hard to mention five points. Coupled with the potential for the show to explode, the popularity naturally increased, and Zhao Wenmin took the opportunity to become the top stream, Mao Yuning suffered devastating consequences due to playing big cards, leading to a ban within the circle and a nationwide outcry to withdraw from the circle. Mao Yuning sorted out the situation and had an idea of what to do tomorrow morning. She closed her eyes and fell asleep with peace of mind. Mao Yuning has a strong sense of time and wakes up early in the morning. However, when she thinks of Zhao Wenmin outside, she is stunned as she holds her phone under the blanket and watches movies for several hours. Among them, when she sees outstanding characters, she even takes out a pen and paper to take notes. It was only after nine o'clock that she lifted the blanket and got up to wash up. When Mao Yuning came out, the live broadcast happened to start shooting, and her dedicated PD was already in place. After she opened the door, the camera instantly focused on her. Today's Mao Yuning appeared in light makeup, with big eyes, a delicate and straight long nose, bright but unassuming eyebrows and eyes. Her pink lips had a hint of youthful fullness, while her peach blossom eyes were clear and bright. She wore a fairy-like long dress that was both pure and lustful, exuding a cool and beautiful temperament with multiple contradictions. No matter what kind of aesthetic person, her appearance was very impressive. Sure enough, netizens who have always been picky with their sharp tongues are frantically typing on the keyboard at this moment. Yesterday, a student from a certain northern school said that all the schools, big and small, in school B were fans of Mao Yuning. I believe that. Her appearance is indeed superficial when she uses the word school flower. She should be the goddess of beauty Mao Yuning is really good dot looking. I hope she can come out more to film and make the audience feast their eyes, sleeping slot. What kind of treasure show is this? The invited person can easily surpass all kinds of little flowers in terms of appearance. Dot. Zhao Wenmin couldn't see the live broadcast pop dot up screen, but looking at the reactions of the staff around her, she knew how superior Mao Yuning looked. As a newcomer in the entertainment industry, Zhao Wenmin, who also graduated from a science class, did not feel that her appearance would be inferior to that of Mao Yuning. This confidence still made a hint of jealousy flash in her eyes. Thinking that Mao Yuning would soon be unable to continue recording the program, Zhao Wenmin's melancholic mood dissipated and she walked up to Mao Yuning with a bright smile on her face. Yuning, why did you wake up so late? She pretended to be surprised and said, it's already past ten o'clock now. As if she knew she shouldn't say that, she quickly closed her mouth, with an apologetic expression on her face, trying to cover up and shift the topic. A.I., your dress is so beautiful, and your shoes are also beautiful. You know how to wear it. Sweet mouth and kind, Zhao Wenmin also hinted to netizens that Mao Yuning slept in and woke up late. This outfit clearly took a lot of effort, indicating the multiple tricks involved. Mao Yuning straightened the green hair on her forehead and raised her lips, saying, Thank you, Sister Wenmin, for your concern and praise. It's probably because she wasn't feeling well last night and got up late. Her generous explanation made Zhao Wenmin appear too narrow. Minded and petty. Zhao Wenmin's smile narrowed as she thought of something. Her eyes flashed and she asked, Yuning didn't sleep well last night. Mao Yuning let out a sigh of distress and said, I can't get used to the hotel bedding, and I forgot to bring my long sleeved pajamas. I always feel itchy on my body. She spoke and didn't forget to scratch her arm, indicating that she was trying to restrain herself as much as possible. 
Zhao Wenmin suddenly noticed that she was wearing a long-sleeved skirt. The indoor air conditioning was not too hot, but she was wearing it so tightly Zhao Wenmin thought of using the towel she gave her, and a strange smile flashed in her eyes. Is it still itching now? Do you need to buy an ointment to apply it? Zhang Lin asked with concern on the side Mao Yuning nodded and said, go out later and buy a bottle of itching ointment from the pharmacy on the way. If it is a common allergy, the itching ointment has a certain effect, but the medicine given by Zhao Wenmin is not effective at all. It was precisely because it was useless that Mao Yuning did this, making Zhao Wenmin believe that she was truly allergic and complacent. After breakfast, a few people packed their bags and gathered with the other four team members, then each got on their own car and headed to the army. On the way, Mao Yuning went to a pharmacy and bought itching relief cream and facial oil. The group stayed at a hotel outside the army for a day, preparing for the first day of filming early tomorrow morning. Hotels are not as luxurious as hotels, and the cost is not high. Each guest can be allocated a room. Mao Yuning and Zhao Wenmin are not on the same floor, so what came to her mind was that she specially washed and tidied up in advance. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Birthday Party You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Birthday Party Like in a Dream, Yi Mingqin's assistant knocked on Mao Yuning's door around 7.30. Sister Mao, today is our teacher Ye's birthday. We prepared an outdoor party on the grass in the park. Do you have time to attend? The little assistant revealed two tiger teeth and spoke with a hint of shyness. Anyone who saw such a beautiful girl would be uncontrollably excited. Mao Yuning applied light makeup, wore a white shirt top with white gauze and a long skirt, and stepped on a pair of pure white slim high heels. She restrained herself and added a fairy-like aura, killing men and flirting without realizing it. Yi Mingchen is the male team member who participated in the program under the guise of an actor. Although this actor is very talented and has a poor fan base in the entertainment industry in recent years, his birthday always causes a sensation online. However, he personally likes to celebrate lunar birthdays privately, which is why there is always a difference of a few days, or even more than 10 days, from the online dates. The crew members were unprepared and were all handled by Yi Mingchen's assistant. There is also this one in the dream, but the difference is that the program in the dream is recorded. Of course, this unrelated program will not be recorded, but this time it is live. Looking at the camera in the hallway, Mao Yuning knew that tonight's party will be broadcast live. Okay, thank you for the invitation from Teacher Yi, but time is running out and I can't prepare a gift in time. Mao Yuning explained calmly. The assistant waved his hand and said, No gifts, no gifts. Teacher Yi said we won't accept gifts. If everyone is willing to have a drink and eat together, he will be very happy. After the assistant told Mao Yuning the address of the party, he said goodbye and left. He also had to notify other members of the crew. Mao Yuning thought for a moment, but did not immediately leave. Instead, he took out his phone and searched for information about Yi Mingchen online. Yi Mingchen started his career very early, and there were many interviews about him. Mao Yuning searched for key vocabulary and quickly looked up several videos about his preferences. After having a plan in mind, Mao Yuning collected his phone and headed to the lawn in the garden. Because there was a delay on the way for a while, when Mao Yuning arrived, many members of the crew came. The assistant handed out props to everyone, with candles for the boys and flowers for the girls. Later, Teacher Yi will appear, and everyone will sing the birthday song together. Your attitude must be sincere, and the atmosphere must be full. Everyone cheered and agreed. There is a barbecue grill under the lawn, with professional chefs grilling skewers. The crew members divide tasks to help, and there is also a bartender mixing wine next to them. Mao Yuning saw someone holding a barbecue plate and a few glasses of sake, sitting on the lawn chatting, occasionally emitting relaxed and joyful laughter. Zhang Lin picked a large plate of barbecue and ordered two glasses of low-alcohol wine from the bartender. She pulled Mao Yuning to find an open space and sat down. 
The two of them touched their glasses, and Jean Lin ate large chunks of meat without any hesitation, comforting herself while eating. I heard that training in the army is very hard, and I should lose weight soon. Mao Yuning has always been very restrained in eating. Even though she is not easily overweight, she tries not to overeat. Watching the greasy barbecue, she took a glass of cold boiled vegetables, picked a few vegetables, and boiled them over before taking them up to eat. Zhang Lin was stunned and exclaimed, it's not easy to be an actress. The lamb skewers that were originally eaten in her mouth didn't even taste good. Mao Yuning smiled and said, no industry is easy, this is the basic skill of a female artist. P.D. happened to focus on Mao Yuning's delicate appearance, and a sentence instantly made the barrage flash. Because group members such as Zhang Zi and Yi Mingchen, who have topic traffic, have not yet arrived, the camera is more focused on Mao Yuning, after all, he is recognized as the beauty representative of this program. Mao Yuning is not very old, but she is a rare sober person in the world. Unlike a certain four-character female artist who earns millions of appearance fees and an annual income of tens of millions, but sells poorly in the press is the four-character female artist mentioned upstairs a certain singer who says, I want to be able to cook, I want to be beautiful, I want to be thin, I want to eat and not gain weight, I need to be likable in interpersonal relationships, and have professional skills that can withstand all kinds of pressure. Is this what people with an annual income of millions should say? Mao Mao is very clear-headed, don't float, the next top stream is you. Zhao Wenmin watched the live broadcast with praise for Mao Yuning. She couldn't help but put away her phone and took out a mirror to confirm her exquisite makeup before leaving the room. She seemed to have taken the wrong direction, but the PD guy behind her reminded her a few words before she turned around with a hazy expression on her face. Did you go wrong? The PD guy smiled and reminded, yes, that's the staircase over there. Ah. Zhao Wenmin showed an awkward expression, her small face slightly flushed with drunkenness, her big eyes flickering, sweet and cute. I just arrived at the hotel and haven't left yet. She quickly explained in a low voice, only to hear some noise coming from ahead and curiously blinked her big eyes. Are you one of our team members? We happen to go together. She walked forward and saw that it was actually Yi Mingchen, who had just finished putting on makeup. Yi Mingchen's coffee shop not only had an assistant team, but also a dedicated makeup artist. At this moment, surrounded by everyone, it appeared unique and made Zhao Wenmin's heart beat faster. Yi Mingchen greeted Zhao Wenmin and the camera behind her in a grand manner. Zhao Wenmin seemed surprised to meet Yi Mingchen and exclaimed, Wow, it's Teacher Yi. He's my idol, I really like him. She spoke to the PD big brother, facing the camera, revealing the surprise of the little fan girl. Zhao Wenmin quickly regained her composure and approached calmly, with a sweet smile on her face. Teacher Yi is also going to the party, are we going together? Yi Mingchen nodded and said, okay, let's go together. Zhao Wenmin wore a very solemn dress today, walking side by side with a handsome man and a beautiful woman, which is extremely pleasing to the eye. The scattered popularity of the live broadcast room reached its peak in an instant when Yi Mingchen appeared, and the traffic skyrocketed online. Some netizens who like to play CP are shouting, it's so sweet. Although they haven't done anything, they inexplicably have a feeling of being a domineering CEO's petite wife. When Zhao Wenmin and Yi Mingchen arrived at the scene, the people in the lawn were reminded by their assistants to put down their alcohol and food, light candles, and hold roses, presenting a heart dot shaped appearance waiting for Yi Mingchen's appearance. Wishing you a happy birthday. Everyone at the scene sang the familiar birthday song that everyone would hum a few words, and looked at Yi Mingchen with sincere eyes. All PD lenses were aimed at Yi Mingchen. Yi Mingchen is a multinational mixed-race Dongfeng face, with deep and beautiful facial features. After makeup and embellishment, he is even more handsome and flamboyant to the extreme. At this moment, Zhao Wenmin should have wisely stepped back to the side, but unfortunately she took a step forward, and the wide rose skirt blocked Yi Mingchen's path. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 9. The Surging Tide. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9. The Surging Tide Yi Mingchen instinctively bent down and picked up Zhao Wenmin's skirt, and the gentleman raised his hand to let her walk ahead. Zhao Wenmin's face was apologetic, with more pink bubbles on it. After thanking her, she walked at the front, facing the candlelight in the camera, sparkling with starlight. At this point, netizens in front of the screen feel that even if Xiao Wenmin doesn't have Mao Yuning's superior facial features, she still has a more cinematic feel. More Astrology Xiao Wenmin felt the attention on her body and knew that her goal had been achieved. She knew very well that in the early stage of entering the program team, without a fan base and popularity, she had to rely on the popularity of Yi Mingchen and Zhang Zi, otherwise it would be difficult to stand out. The fact proved that her verification was correct. Zhao Wenmin blushed and shyly took the rose from her assistant's hand. She seemed to be hiding in the crowd, queuing up to offer flowers to Yi Mingchen. The girl finished offering roses under the singing, and everyone congratulated Yi Mingchen on his happy birthday together. Zhang Zi arrived late at this moment and brought a bouquet of flowers to Yi Mingchen, explaining that it was because she was late for the flowers. Yi Mingchen didn't care, and everyone praised her for being thoughtful. Due to the rush of time, they didn't prepare any gifts. At this moment, Zhao Wenmin sat next to Yi Mingchen and spoke shyly, I didn't have time to prepare gifts either. I just know that Teacher Yi likes to listen to folk songs, especially Teacher Chen Li's songs. I have a handwritten manuscript of Teacher Chen Li for you. She took out a notebook from her bag, with various hand-drawn notes on it. Although it was disorganized, some songs could still be seen as original, which was rare. It's not a secret that Yi Mingchen likes Chen Li, as evidenced by many interviews. Ah, we haven't prepared any gifts yet. Wen Min, how come you have Chen Li's handwritten manuscript? Zhang Lin was surprised. Chen Li is currently the most popular female singer in niche folk songs, and not everyone is her fan, but everyone must have heard a few of her songs. Zhao Wenmin tilted her head and smiled sweetly, I am also her fan. I have collected many souvenirs about her. Chen Li has a habit of soliciting lyrics from fans. Zhao Wenmin came up with a sudden idea to help her write a lyrics, which was unexpectedly hired by Chen Li. As a transaction, Zhao Wenmin requested her manuscript paper, which Chen Li agreed to and sent to her. Dot. After listening to Zhao Wenmin's explanation, everyone suddenly realized and looked at her with admiration in their eyes. Netizens in front of the screen are gossiping and curious about the lyrics written by Zhao Wenmin, mostly blowing up her rainbow fart and marveling at her talent. Dot. Yi Mingchen gave Zhao Wenmin a cold look and said, can I take a look at the lyrics you wrote? Zhao Wenmin smiled apologetically and said, Sure, but I haven't heard her sing this song yet. She took out the original lyrics from her bag. PD Big Brother is very considerate, only giving a corner shot of the original lyrics. Yi Mingchen looked at the lyrics with a stunning expression in his eyes and said, Did you really write this? Zhao Wenmin felt guilty for a moment. The story was true but it wasn't her who wrote the lyrics. She also snatched the manuscript, but that person wouldn't say it. Even if Chen Li saw the show, she wouldn't deny it. After all, Chen Li didn't know them, but she did have a similar transaction with a fan online. Yeah, it was also written on a whim at the time. It's been so long, and I don't know if teacher Chen Li is still ready to use it. Zhao Wenmin burst into laughter as she eagerly urged her idols to sing on the camera. When Yi Mingchen came to the program, he always had a high and mighty attitude. After all, the biggest guests invited by the program team were him and Zhang Zi. At this moment, he couldn't help but give Zhao Wenmin a hug and said, Thank you for the gift. I really like it. The scene resounded with thunderous applause. Zhao Wenmin's heart was beating faster, her eyes dribbling on Mao Yuning's body, and her voice was clear. Today when I came by car, Yuning was talking about Teacher Ye's birthday all the way. What gift did she prepare for Teacher Ye? 
The assistant looked surprised behind Yi Mingchen. How could Mao Yuning know in advance that today is Yi Mingchen's lunar birthday? You should know that if it weren't for today's live broadcast announcement, fans wouldn't have known. Everyone's gaze fell on Mao Yuning one after another. If Mao Yuning had explained at this point that she had not uttered these words, it would have been slapping Yi Mingchen in the face. However, if she had not explained, she would not have been able to bring out the gift. This sentence is a trap for red fruits. In the dream, Mao Yuning was caught in this trap, struggling to advance or retreat. Zhao Wenmin also took this opportunity to establish a good relationship with Yi Mingchen. She found both sides and gained popularity step by step. It should be noted that in the entertainment industry, popularity is the key to an artist's success. Otherwise, there is no one to support her. Unless her work is excellent, she can achieve great success later. Mao Yuning had already anticipated, but couldn't help but marvel at Zhao Wenmin's scheming. It was because of the hints from her dreams that she was able to think things through thoroughly. Zhao Wenmin is just a newly graduated little girl, and such scheming is easy to come across in any circle, but the people she is targeting are very unlucky. Zhao Wenmin is waiting for Mao Yuning to deny that Yi Mingchen is a wealthy second-dot-generation with a mysterious and powerful background. Once Mao Yuning offends him and wants to make a name for himself on the show, it is simply impossible. Yeah. Mao Yuning was suddenly called out, showing a bewildered smile without explaining how to know in advance that today is Yi Mingchen's lunar birthday. I also just found out that today is Teacher Ye's birthday. She did not deny Zhao Wenmin's words, but human body language does not lie. She had just learned about Yi Mingchen's birthday. Everyone looked at Zhao Wenmin with an unclear expression on their faces, how could there be any trouble? Sharp netizens also felt it and expressed confusion. The whole internet doesn't know today is Yi Mingchen's lunar birthday, how did Mao Yuning know? I watched a fake live broadcast all day today. I remember Mao Yuning was sleeping all the way. When did he talk about Yi Mingchen's birthday? If he really talked about it, the whole network would have exploded long ago. Why would he use a little assistant to appear and notify him? Some netizens even directly criticized. Zhao Wenmin lied, Mao Yuning didn't even mention Yi Mingchen's birthday. When she said this, she clearly knew that Mao Yuning didn't have time to prepare gifts and deliberately made her stand down. In fact, when the little assistant went to inform everyone of the time to come to the lawn, no one had time to prepare gifts. Zhang Zi would be so late for preparing a bouquet of flowers, and besides, the little assistant had the intention of not accepting any gifts for today's birthday. Zhao Wenmin knowingly offended Mao Yuning, making it difficult for him to be a good person. If it was unintentional, it would be fine. If it was intentional, it would really be difficult to have a good impression. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Gifts you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Gifts Zhao Wenmin looked at the eyes around her and knew that something was wrong. She secretly resented Mao Yuning for not playing cards according to common sense and quickly made up for it, saying, it's okay if you haven't prepared a gift. Time is indeed running out a bit. Mao Yuning's bewildered expression gradually calmed down and revealed a sincere smile. If teacher Yi doesn't mind, I'll sing a song for you as a birthday gift. Yi Mingchen nodded, and a cheerful smile instantly appeared on Mao Yuning's face. He waved to the three male team members not far away, and Zhang Lin stood up beside him. The song selected by Mao Yuning is exactly Chen Li's original composition, Looking Through. The main theme of this song is eager anticipation and anticipation, and guitar accompaniment is more suitable. Just now, Mao Yuning asked Zhang Lin, she knows bass, and there are some male team members who are good at guitar. A few of them came up with the idea of combining and playing this song. The lead singer is Mao Yuning, Zhang Lin is a bassist, and the male team members are responsible for the guitar, drums, and keyboard. The lawn has barbecue, fine wine, music, and a variety of musical instruments. Upon hearing that Mao Yuning and the others were going to perform a piece of music, 
they all made room. A high stool was placed in the center of the open lawn, and behind it was a group of accompanists. The audience was surrounded by a half circle, and all the camera shots were focused on the performance center. From time to time, the expressions on the faces of several key figures were scanned, with Yi Mingchen as the leader, Zhao Wenmin and Zhang Zi as secondary. The clothes Mao Yuning is wearing today are very suitable for this song. A white shirt top paired with white gauze and a long skirt, poetic and beautiful. As she sat on the high stool, her high heels and sandals stepped on the crossbeam of the chair, revealing her smooth and beautiful foot shape, instantly stunning everyone. Many people covered their mouths, their faces full of amazement. The photographer's lens instantly zoomed in, presenting a delicate face with no dead corners at 360 degrees. She gently closed her eyes, her long eyelashes covering her, revealing a more stunning and breathtaking beauty. Even the red tip of her nose emitted a youthful vitality. When Mao Yuning closed her eyes and sang the first line with the receiver, everyone immediately held their breath the heavy feet of the clouds are stepping on the sticky wind rain cannot bear to part with the sky, unwilling to land the plane extends forever to the edge of memories time raises dust and sand, I can't see where you are the heavy feet of the cloud step on the sticky wind rain cannot bear to part with the sky, unwilling to land the plane extends forever to the edge of memories the blurry hanging sun and moon cannot show where you are. If the famous ballad singer Chen Li has a deep ashy voice that hides freedom and recklessness, then Mao Yuning is ethereal, lazy, and easy. Going. She is not like a professional singer who deliberately controls the atmosphere, but just hums the ballad. Her moving voice can make people feel the waiting and hope of the journey. As everyone showed their silly smiles, she suddenly stood up from the chair, swaying gently, stepping on the rhythm, and dancing with light and lively steps, which greatly enhanced people's hearts. Zhang Lin was the first to hold the bass and stand in the middle, dancing with her. More and more people stand up, beating the rhythm, gently echoing the song, with lively and cheerful smiles on their faces. The train passed by a flower peacefully in an instant lack of noise the world owes me an answer. The world owes me an answer Mao Yuning pulled the microphone and extended it to everyone in front of the rhythm. Everyone closed their eyes and felt the free touch in their hearts, singing happily. Are you at the feet of the clouds waiting for the rain to fall are you looking through the strait at the end of the plane did you depart on a cloudy day drawing on the car window are you bidding farewell to the sunset at the end of the train? The netizens who are watching the live broadcast have all been banned from speaking at this moment. Perhaps Mao Yuning's singing is not as professional as that of a professional singer, but his ethereal, lazy, and casual style can better convey the artistic conception of the song. It is precisely because of this that it appears particularly pleasing to the ear. Beautiful people and beautiful voices, if it were such a waiting and hopeful situation, they would be deeply trapped and unwilling to escape. It's just one song, netizens reminisce about it, typing on keyboards and bombarding the screen, asking the program team to quickly edit and process it. They need to hear the single loop before going to bed tonight. Yi Mingchen and Zhang Zi were both inspired by the music and stood up, surrounded by a crowd, humming songs and dancing. At this moment, they and the staff of the program team, apart from their work relationship, were more like old friends, able to sing and laugh freely, and their relationship instantly became much closer. Zhao Wenmin was pushed to the furthest corner, unable to even reach the edge of the camera. She was anxious and helpless, after all, the dress she was wearing was not suitable for squeezing into the crowd. She looked at Mao Yuning in the center of the camera, her drooping eyes revealing the essence of hatred. Mao Yuning was definitely intentional. Knowing that she was wearing a formal dress, she even designed this one with the aim of making her not sociable. Wait, the best part is yet to come. Zhao Wenmin thought of tomorrow's hot search, leaving Mao Yuning covered in black material, and felt her depressed chest extremely happy. After Mao Yuning finished singing the atmosphere was set off, Yi Mingchen stepped forward and hugged her, Zhang Lin, and the other three male team members, thanking them for their passionate singing. He really liked this gift. Mao Yuning and Zhang Lin just hugged each other and then let go. After all, 
there are differences between men and women, and the three male team members are different. Apart from hugging, they just pat each other's muscles, praise each other, introduce each other, and quickly form a bond. This is something that Mao Yuning didn't expect. However, it is also a good thing that Yi Mingchen can get along well with the three male team members. She remembers that in her dream, Yi Mingchen couldn't let go of his body and get along with them. His performance on the show was not satisfactory, and he even quit midway. After becoming famous with no hope, he returned home to inherit his family property. However, many years later, he was exposed for depression, suicide, coma, and hospitalization. It turned out that this appearance was the last deadline given by his family, and if he still had no reputation, he had to go back. It is also this scandal of a wealthy family that has made everyone aware that the Sodot called heir to a wealthy family is not so easy. Yi Mingchen, who returned to his family, was sent abroad for further education. Otherwise, who would dare to entrust him with the management of the family's huge assets? Yi Mingchen has loved performing arts since his youth and disliked studying. In order to enter the entertainment industry, he dropped out of school in his teens and became a trainee. After the singer debuted, he became an actor while singing and acting. In terms of learning, Yi Mingchen is a complete academic scumbag. Let a scumbag quickly become successful and take over the family business. Isn't this driving him crazy? After several days of rescue, Yi Mingchen passed away in a coma. Mao Yuning didn't know if the ending of Yi Mingchen would change this time. Seeing him integrate into the collective, he was still happy for him. After chatting with three male team members, Yi Mingchen turned around and wanted to walk towards Mao Yuning, only to find that she had already left. Zhang Lin looked at the man with outstanding appearance in front of her and explained heartily, the furry shirt is wet, she's going to change clothes. End of this chapter